I learned machine learning in really horrible way because I did not have clear path for it. I used to do different courses and try to do Kaggle projects and fail. Again after few days I used to find some videos to learn machine learning but hardly understood anything. So after making so many mistakes I was able to find some good machine learning path that helped me to learn machine learning. In this video I want to talk about how I learned machine learning and how would I go for it if I had to start over again. So let's get started. Number one course I did was machine learning by Andrew NG Coursera. Now this course is quite difficult to understand because it is heavily based on maths for machine learning. But I did it anyway and understood hardly 30% of this course. Then I decided to read this book Data Science from Scratch which gave me basic understanding about data and helped me to understand more practical side of machine learning. After reading this book I tried solving Kegel Titanic problem but I couldn't do it. The thing was I didn't know what to do in that so I just read the data and closed my browser. That's when I realized I need to first clear my machine learning fundamentals and then go to the next topic. So I tried searching for many courses online and I was only given the Andrew NG course from Coursera. So I decided to do this course again but this time I had clear plans and goals of what I wanted to do. While learning I started taking notes from the lectures so in the future if I forget anything I can always go back to my notes. This course will teach you everything from supervised learning, linear regression, logistic regression, neural network, SVM, then unsupervised learning such as K-means, PCA, anomaly detection. Then there are some applications such as recommendation system, how to build large scale machine learning models, advice on building machine learning system, regularization, evaluation of learning algorithm, error analysis and many more. I completed this course but again this course focuses more on theoretical side of machine learning. And I wanted some practical knowledge so I started finding some more resources and I found this book hands on machine learning. I talked about this particular book in detail in one of my videos so you can watch that after watching this video. I started reading this book and for the first time I implemented a machine learning model in python. This book gave me a more practical side knowledge about machine learning from handling and cleaning data, visualizing working on libraries, training models and deploying it. After this, I started understanding machine learning much better. So I decided to learn neural networks. So I enrolled myself in a course from the Coursera again which was deep learning specialization by deeplearning.ai. This was also taught by Andrew NG. I repeated the same process for the course, watching videos and taking notes. The best part about this specialization is that in each course you will have some good projects to work on in Python that will give you more understanding about deep learning and different algorithms. This specialization will take you from understanding basic neural networks and deep learning, how to improve models, how to properly structure your machine learning projects, then some advanced topics such as convolution neural networks that is used for image recognition and recurrent neural networks that is used for natural language processing. Once I learned these things, I started applying my knowledge into real world projects. So I built this image recognition system. Before exams, we take pictures of notes to study and once exam gets over, it is really difficult to delete those notes. So I created a model that detects notes clipped from the camera and deletes them. Like this, I did many projects that helped me to get two internships in a startup company. I already talked about my experience in this video so you can watch this particular video after watching this video. And I used to read some blogs from Medium and KD Nuggets to learn more things and keep myself up to date with the industry. Now I learned machine learning in really horrible way. I did not also talk about a lot of YouTube videos I watched, some of the random blogs I read and there were many books in between I used to read. Now if I had to start over again, how would I do it? Let's answer that particular question. First I will get understanding of these two fields that is data engineering and data science. I am not going to learn about these fields in detail but I will get good overview to understand this particular field. The basic understanding of data engineering and data science will help you to understand more about how data is generated, processed and used. Once you get understanding of these things then you read this particular book, hands on machine learning and do a project mentioned in this book. After reading this book you will get good practical knowledge about building models then do a machine learning course from Coursera by Andrew NG that will give you more fundamental knowledge about machine learning. Once you complete this particular course then do one good project from your knowledge you gain from the book and the course. Pick a problem, let's say COVID, then try to solve that problem such as predict COVID cases in future or 
cluster covid case is based on some attributes such as location different variants or anything the goal of this project is to get data from some website properly cleaning them and then train machine learning models on your problems once you get a good project in your portfolio then you can apply for the internship i will also make video on the how to get internship in data science and machine learning so make sure you subscribe to this channel once you learn machine learning then you can jump to more advanced concepts such as deep learning then you can pick one specialization such as cnn if you want to go into image recognition or you can pick recurrent neural network if you just want to work on natural language processing one important tip that you don't need to learn everything once you get an internship then you will find your own path and you will develop what specialized area you want to work in such as cnn or rnn sometimes you might not understand some topics from the courses so don't worry about it just go on the youtube and search about that topic you will find much better explanation so if you are learning something new from this video then don't forget to like this particular video and if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe to this channel because i have plans to upload a lot of things from cloud computing to machine learning data science and data engineering so make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon because whenever i upload a video you will get the notification thank you